going to show you how I create my sticker book. Hi friends, it's Mary from Aforementioned Mention Thoughts. And I had a comment recently asking how I get my stickers into my digital planner. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to stop by today and show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I create my sticker book and how I use that to save my stickers for my digital planner. So we're starting off here um, on the Return to Sender website. Um, this is one of the websites that I use to get some free uh, digital stickers. Um, you can pay for digital stickers as well, but I always suggest that people start with the free ones because um, it really gets you, lets you get a handle on this. This one is an adorable little um, airmail planner sticker kit. And so what you're going to do is um, you're going to look wherever you are for the download link and click it. And a lot of our uh, free digital stickers, um, the people share it through Google Drive. Um, so what you can do is you can um, either save a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. You can do any of them. I haven't seen a real difference in GoodNotes. Um, I am doing this all on my iPad Pro with GoodNotes, um, and I haven't really seen a huge difference. Okay, so you could do a PDF or a PNG or a JPEG. I am going to show you first how to do it with a PNG. This also works with a JPEG. Let me pull it up here once it's loaded. this I'm doing this all on my iPad so that you can see how to do this entirely on your iPad. There are other ways around it. This is not the only exhaustive way to get stickers into your digital planner, but this is one way to do it. Okay, so once the stickers or the image or whatever you want to upload into your sticker book has loaded, um, you're just going to save it. Uh, you can save it to your uh, camera roll. So let's do that. Save image and then you're going to go into your good notes um, and here I have this is just my general sticker book um, so some of the pages I have just pulled stickers on and some of the pages I have um, major ones on and so I'm going to add over here where the plus sign is and I'm going to add I think I'm going to import below and I'm going to go to my photos and I'm going to go there. So all I did was I added, I went to my photos and I clicked on the image. And so now it is a page in my sticker book as well. Now, if you're wanting to add something that is only a PDF file, let's go back and I'll show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the PDF and then I'm gonna save it. And all I'm doing is I'm clicking that um, down arrow up in the upper right hand corner. So it's going to give me a downloadable file and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to come up. I think it's going to come up as a PDF in my browser and then I'll show you how to add that to GoodNotes. Okay, it does. So if you click on the page, it's going to bring up these two options up here at the top that disappear. You see that? Open in Note and More. You're going to click the More and then you're going to look for Import with GoodNotes and you're going to click that. And then if you're already on the sticker document, you'll either import above or below. This is just the page order. You can change these later too, so don't stress about it too much. So I'm gonna import below, and now you see I have an extra page of the stickers here. So that is how you actually get them into GoodNote, into your sticker book. Once you're in here, obviously you can't take this whole page to add it to your planner. So let me, um, let me take just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm gonna open up my planner so that I can kind of show you how you do it. Okay, so um, I've opened up a random page in the planner in the future here, and um, what I'm going to show is how I trim down these. You may have seen these in the plan with me, plan with me as if you've watched any of those. Um, so I'm going to tap the lasso, and I'm just going to pick what I want to use. So let's say I'll use this cute little deer stamp, and it doesn't have to be exact because we're going to crop it down later. And I'm just going to hit take a screenshot, the arrow button, and um, I'm going to hit copy. So what that does is it puts it on my clipboard, and then I'm going to go back to my planner, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the lasso, press and hold, and hit paste. 
And then before I do anything else, I'm going to crop it down. So I'm going to click on the image, click crop, and I'm going to just crop it down. Because I don't want any of that edging around it. You can leave it if you want it, but it would look really sloppy um, with all these other pictures that it grabbed as well. So there we go. I have it all cropped and ready to go. Now, um, if I'm going to use a sticker more than once, if it's a sticker I think I'm going to use on mini spreads, often what I'll do is I will copy the cropped image and add it to my sp sticker book on a different page or even on the same page. But So what I'll do is, um, making sure I'm on the lasso, I'll do a little circle and hit it and then I'll hit copy. Let's go back to the sticker page and you see how I have these already. These are all cropped and ready to go. Um, so I'll just click and hold or press and hold. I'm sorry. I always get used to saying click, but I guess that's probably not even a thing the next generation will know, right? Um, hit paste and then I can resize it to a smaller one because I can resize it later if I want to. So I usually resize it really small and then that way if I need it later, like say I wanted to add this raccoon, I already have it cropped quickly and everything like that. So isn't that nice? You don't have to crop it at all or anything. Um, so that's how I use stickers and good notes. Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. Are there any other tutorials for digital planning that you'd like to see? Please let me know that as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more about how I digitally plan with my iPad, please be sure to subscribe because I'll have more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.